Dixon looking inside. Instead, it's Van Lith. Nice ball fake. The elbow. Kind of back in 17-18. That on the left side a little bit better. Wow. She has a high ceiling. For again this year with this team. This team checks all the boxes for a Final Four contender. Press, they got the turnover because Dana passed it. The second time, they get the bucket. Because Dana and get an easy score for Robinson. And Kono does a nice job there defensively. Behind the back dribble. The high, and they were due, Pam. You know, the last two games, they shot. Evans is third in the conference with the 20.3 points per game. I mean, this is a, a, a well-stacked team. Coach Wallace has done a terrific job recruiting. Spots in the first half. But what happens is that wing player jumps out and takes the ball. Then left, driving. Both offenses struggling to find a rhythm. Dan Lynch. Oh, skating right. She was able to dribble the ball up court. And then dribbled right into a double team. Great defense by Van Lith. Haley's not passing. Under a minute to go. What a game this has been. It's been a time. Shepard, who leads all scores, and that's right below her season average of 17 points. Her length on people that they need to stop. Van Lith, first half. on the arc in this game. Van Lith, pull up, jump. Tomorrow, Van Lith on the drive. Nine rebounds in a game against Colorado. Let's see if Oregon can reload. Here comes Louisville again. And Leith all the way. <laughs> With Smith, Van Lith, you know she's feeling it. Van Lith says, all right, I'll take them up. They're shooters. Courtney was a shooter. They have put in the reps. Far in the polls, considering that UConn lost on the road as well. So once during the regular season, so that game will have absolutely huge. For Syracuse tonight. Van Lith. Possession for the last shot. Van Lith. You bet. Shot clock is at 10 for Van Lith. The pass a couple of defenders. Back with patience in the second half. This here is our fourth quarter. Excuse here, me. Here goes Van Lith. And she six points at four threes in the first win against UT Martin. And that's She's got the last five points for Duke. Van Lith puts on the victory. 340 to go in our final quarter. To watch the Cardinals courtside in the Yum Center. And you're right, Sarah. They'll get it up and down. It's a chance to be really good. They've got it. Guards that can fill it up as you Van Lip catches up to it and off to a very strong start to her Louisville campaign. Nice find there. More offensive rebounds than his team had total rebounds. They play this defense, they make you play a little for everyone else, you go under. Van Lip back in it if you can get three stops in a row. Here she is with the ball in hand. The All American Van Lip, another one. Evans on the drive, finds Van Lith. The flick ahead to Van Lith, who will lay it in. Van Lith, quick trigger. Her first three steps up the floor are bang, bang, bang. Like, she gets into trend. From the post, if you're the Clemson Tigers, in particular on offense. So it's first option always is to score in transition as well. ACC. And she's doing a great job. You know, early on, she still had some players that were on the bench. December 9th. And of course, they come into this game expect Cochran leading the way. And Lith picks her up. There to be some rust. I mean, they're so talented. They've been playing against each other. Van Lith. Jarrett. Yes. That is the Doug Bruno philosophy. Van Lith's jump. Floor not letting DePaul get very comfortable. Van 12 turnovers DePaul forced in that first half. Is Van EKU's been in the zone the entire game. Yeah, they've played this 2-3 zone, and, you know, they've had to go out. By Louisville, takes it all the way and can't get the finish to go, but the follow-up. Dixon looking inside. Instead, it's Van Lith. Nice ball fake. The elbow jumper is good. Kind of back in 17-18. On the left side, a little bit better. Wow. 
She has a high ceiling. 